So with iPad OS 14 launching recently, it was only going to be a matter of time before Apple updated the iWork app. So let's jump into Pages and take a look at some of the new features which come with iPad OS. And there's also some other nice little touches to the user interface um, and some other things that are just useful to raise to people's attention. So I'm going to jump into Pages um, and jump into a new document. And the first thing you'll notice here are there are some new report templates for you to use um, just uh, again just always adding to all of these different templates to, to give students that start point a bit of scaffolding to how to set things up um, but you'll see that there are some new ones in the reports here um, you know just just again that that nice touch just to help people out but the key thing for me um, and if you've seen any of my other videos um, I absolutely love the scribble feature. Um, I'm a big Apple Pencil user. Really, really like the, the touch of being able to do this. And you'll see as I've um, tapped on the screen with my Apple Pencil now, you'll see that scribble has come to pages in this instance. Um, and you'll see down the bottom here that we have the, the pencil with the A on it. That means I'm utilizing the scribble feature. And I can start to use some of those things. So I can write directly onto the page and it's going to turn it into text for me. So exactly as you've been used to, if you've been playing around with Scribble in Notes recently, that same feature now comes to Pages and all the other iWork apps as well, which just means there's a different way to access things. Now, the majority of time when I do training with people, one of the things that comes up is the iPad is great, but what about children's handwriting? Well, do you know what? there's kind of an answer to that now and so much more as well because I'm a I'm big fan of note taking um, and I do like the speed of being able to just use the pencil. I'm not quick at typing and again from an accessibility point of view students now have a choice of ways to add the text onto the screen so that recognition I absolutely love it which is great. Also, you'll notice the user interface down the bottom. So the, the tools that we have, um, when you actually tap on them now, uh, you know, each one gives you that bit of an overview. So this one, you know, tells you that it's going to be a crayon. This one tells you it's going to be a pencil. And that's just a really, really nice touch to know what the different pens are going to be doing. You'll also notice that there's different um, imagery um, under there. So that's just been updated slightly. Um, and also, if you've used pages before, You'll have known that before you had the choice between smart annotations and drawings. Well, that's just been put all into one now. So now we have um, our smart annotation tools built into the same set. So I don't have to make that choice before. I don't have to jump from one to the other. I can do this directly on the screen um, as I'm working. And those annotations are going to just sit directly on there for me. So again, really, really nice touch. Got another couple of things just to, to highlight here that have changed. Um, if I tap on the color wheel, you'll notice that there's some different ways of choosing the colors. You still get your, your regular set along the bottom. You can add specific colors into this. Um, there's the grid that we're used to seeing before and obviously changing that opacity. But we also then have a spectrum to choose from um, and the sliders if you really want to find a specific color. So now you, you genuinely can find any color you want in your drawings to add them on the screen. Now to add drawings to normal, we do in pages need to tap on the screen and that's gonna give me my drawing box. We can also then tap on the plus that will give me a second drawing box and you can move these around and you can add as many of those as you need to. And then we have the same uh, tools as well in terms of the pencil settings. If you want to be able to move between the current tool and eraser or the current tool and your color palette, which is the one that I favor. So that's where you can do all of those things. So you have instant access to be able to change all of those things and being able to select that color palette very, very easily on your uh, device just by tapping, double tapping on the Apple Pencil if you've got the uh, Apple Pencil to go with your Pro. So there we go, just some, some really, really neat features that are in Pages now, as well as all of the other features that were in Pages in the update that came back in the summer. It's really a cool app. So check out some of those other videos on the playlists, and I look forward to sharing some more ideas with you soon.